Hello and welcome to my channel guys. Today we are looking at how Middendorp transformed the current squad of Kaiser Chiefs. But before we do that, um, we're going to go back to the background of where he comes from as a PSL coach. One of the earnest proven strength is the ability to manage a team in its crisis. He taken several clubs from the brink of the relegation to a position of safety. In the 2015 and 2016 season, Ernest led not one but two South African Premier League teams from relegation position to safety. He took free state stars from position 16 at the bottom of the log to the position 10 within four months, averaging two points a game. In January 2016, Ernest returned to Marisberg. We all know that he once coached Marisberg, a club where he coached twice before, who were in position 16 facing relegation. Ernest and his team narrowed the gap until the final net beating game of the season. Marisberg United moved to the safety position 14 and avoided relegation. So, gents, you can see who this guy is a man of perseverance. He is not afraid of challenges. Um, so, after Marisberg, this season he's currently coaching Kaiser Chiefs, where his team is number one on the log standings with 48 points, 22 matches played. The team overall won 15 matches and draw three and lose four matches. By this stage, guys, you can also see that the, he has transformed the team in a magnificent way. For in case, if you don't know Chiefs, Last season, Chiefs, it was on position 9. Yo, yo, yo. People make jokes of us. He's saying, hey, Chiefs, it's a hectic 9-9. Nine, nine. Hey, Chiefs doesn't deserve to be at number 1 and whatsoever. But that were difficulties of Chiefs at that time. So at that point, it was coached by Steve Compella. Steve Compella, who is currently coaching Golden Arrows at the moment. Steve did his part at Kaiser Chiefs, but it wasn't enough in his time. In his time, because uh, the team finished on the ninth in the log, and um, so Ernest came and turned the table around. Now Chiefs is standing in number one, with few matches to be played, so that the league can be concluded. So for that, guys, he deserves the respect. He deserves everything good that is coming for him. So let's give him the credit he deserves, guys. So this man and his position where he is right now. So by the background, so I wanted you to see, guys, where he's coming from as a PSL coach in South Africa. So without much wasting time, um, we're going to focus firstly on the defense, how he improved the defense of his Chiefs. You can tell a lot by the games they've lost. If you're winning, it shows you can defend. So he brought that um, relationship among the players. So we're gonna start with the def with the defense. In the defense, players are willing to to cover for each other, and the relationship is good between the defense. And our full backs are currently doing well, but. On the right side, there has been changes. It's either it is Moleko or Frosler or Mpachel, even though Mpachel is the last option. So he brought, he brought strong relationship among the defense and solidarity, even though they lose focus at the dying minutes of the game. Like, for instance, look at this, guys. This thing here, as Chawapiwa races into the box. Quick run, yeah! The usual suspect. 12 goals now for Usuchu. So, so, gents, if we can fix this kind of silly mistakes and at the last minute, uh, we are going to take the league, gents. So, it's not going to be easy for us to win the league. So, if we focus on fixing our problems, this coronavirus must come at handy. As I've said, we have to use this 
at our advantage so that we fix all the problems at the back those uh ball watching and all that must get must be fixed at this time so and our tactics must also change because we are too much predictable that is why teams get to get us on our weaknesses so i i suggest that he 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 change a little bit of his strategy and have plan a and plan b if this doesn't work he should focus on this one if this one doesn't work he should focus on this one so ladies and gentlemen um we are going to move to the middle field we we, we all know that uh george malulege signed a pre-contract to mamidi sundown so i don't know where this puts malulege at the moment because he's still with chiefs until his contract expires so i think middendrop wouldn't use him so so Bacchus will replace george and he will be playing with katsande Bacchus will be more will be more in the attacking areas whereas katsande he is in the defensive middle field ernest middendorp made sure that uh kisa chief's middle field it is solid by putting katsande at defensive middle field we all know that um katsande plays a critical role in the defensive middle field he also helps the defense to to defend so without katsande we're quite struggling a lot as you saw in the game of Mar of um amazul if he was there he was gonna bring more to the table so now ladies and gentlemen we are going to the front line the front line it is very strong and it is very powerful and it is very dangerous no one wants to concede a corner or any set piece because we have people who are good aerially and middle top use that has as his advantage so guys i believe that this corona break should give ernest a good time to sit down and analyze the games and see which other strategy he could use to score from all the areas because in that will be more dangerous so our front line they are very good when they get the opportunity they punish guys they punish so i'll show you with the video here so that you could see Katsande. Zuma and opens up Zuma scores the Chiefs are in the lead. Oh. They've been living a little on borrowed time, Chippewa United. And eventually, Kaiser Chiefs. We have came to the end of our video, gents. I have good news for you. The government has finally given the PSL the green light to start training on the effect of level three. So subscribe for more content, gents. And thank you guys for watching my video to this point. And I love you, everyone. Thank you. Darling